What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hop LA Events on Tap, episode 64, covering all the awesome things happening in LA beer this week. Before we get into today's show, it's Christmas morning. Ho, ho, ho! Yeah, so whether you're opening up presents, maybe opening up a can of beer, wishing all of you guys a very happy holiday, and obviously we're in our best holiday getup. For today's show, we are coming at you guys from Palmdale, California, about 60 miles north of Los Angeles at Transplant Brewing Company. This is our first time up here. This brewery is quite impressive. Yeah, really, really big space here in the tap room um, and some really cool artwork on the walls. Uh, murals done by their artist, Brandon, who's actually inside um, doing some live artwork as we speak. Um, arcade games, board games, a bunch of really, really good stuff to hang out and drink some beer. Oh wait, the, the beer. beer. They specialize in all different types of styles of beer, but I'd really kind of put them into um, two different categories, dank, resiny, West Coast style IPAs, as well as all different styles of beer with wacky, weird, crazy ingredients that you really don't see that impart some really cool flavors. So we have one of each of those styles. So yeah, let's get right into it. Let's what are it. we drinking? So I'm drinking Ocarina. It is an ale with sweet potato, nutmeg, and thyme. Mmm, sweet, spicy, like a pie almost. Can't wait to drink it. What do you got, buddy? I have a Bull Feathers IPA, the epitome of a dank West Coast, packed with Idaho 7 hops as well as hop hash. This beer before was actually called Catbird, made with CBD, but can't brew that anymore. So uh, this is the brand new version, Bull Feathers. Can't wait to drink this one out. So without further ado, let's give them a whirl. Crowbars up. Yeah, this is like sweet potato pie. Um, you've got a little bit of the earthiness from the thyme, sweetness um, and spice from the nutmeg, pie filling type of um, aromas and flavors. It's really, really good. This is a dessert beer, I would say. I really like it. Give it to me after a meal and I'm a happy guy. Yeah, what are you thinking about that? Give this beer to me any time of the day and I'll drink it. Very smooth drinking IPA, bursting with citrus flavor, but it's got a really nice bitterness to it and a dryness right at the end. Loving the flavors coming out of this one. Yeah. Um, Extremely drinkable. Yeah, That's like marijuana. So <laughs> soft mouth feel. Right? That's like, like, <laughs> it's dank, man. Fucking dank. Yeah. Chronic, shit's kush. Is that a thing? <laughs> That's not an adjective. <laughs> it is really, really good though. Um, highly recommend coming out to Transplants, checking this place out. It's a little yeah. bit of drive out of LA, but completely worth it. Totally we have worth it. other breweries in the area that you can hit up, so make it a destination, but make sure to come here. Yes. This place is awesome. Absolutely. All right, time to get into this week's events. But we're gonna cruise right through Christmas because nothing's going on, family time, and get right into New Year's. Actually, pre-New Year's, because there's a special event happening at Southland Beer. This one is called Super Bonanza Part Two with Beachwood. This one's happening December 29th and 30th at Southland Beer in Koreatown, and it's featuring a shitload of Beachwood beers on tap and a lot of their brand new beers that they're just putting out. So head over to our website, check that event out, see the full tap list, and make it a point to go to Southland Beer. All right, now let's get into the New Year's Eve events, and there's so many going on. We're just gonna hit this thing rapid fire style. So I'm just gonna kick it right off. $110 prefix dinner with beer flights at Imperial Western inside of Union Station. Then McKellar Bar in downtown LA is doing a special event with Three Floyds, beer you don't see in LA very often. Yeah, Brewery West is having a Yacht Rock Party. Always a good time. Yeah, Surly Goat in WeHo is having a $65 open bar event. Might wanna hit that up. All right, we got $5 drafts having a Blue Palm Brew House. Better than that. Bluebird in Sherman Oaks is having a $75 all you can drink event. Nice. Woo! Ooh, yeah. Tony's Darts Away in Burbank is having an $80 all inclusive food and beer night. That's a pretty killer deal at Tony's Darts Away. Yeah, then the Stalking Horse in West LA is having a $31 bottomless beer night special. So <laughs> ring in the new year with bottomless beer. And then at Mohawk Ben, $49 open bar. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Broxton, the new brewery in Westwood, is having a masquerade ball with an open bar. It's 99 bucks to get into that one. Then Lolita Ale House is having $30 unlimited pours all night long. Then Brewport Tap House in El Segundo is doing a special New Year's event, $75 for 75 ounces of beer and wine. They'll have some food there as well. 
that's gonna be a good one as well. And last but not least, we have some no cover events. We have to pay anything, just pay for your beers. Yep. Angel City's having something, our district and transplant. Yeah, we right are. here. So whatever you guys are doing for New Year's Eve, be safe, have fun, and drink good beer. Yep. All right, so that does it for this episode of Events on Tap. Short but sweet. Yeah, there are plenty of delicious transplant beers in there, including some very special festivist themed beers. Seinfeld fans, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Drink indie. Drink local. And Merry Christmas!